Yo, what's good guys? It is your boy Jason JV saying welcome to another reaction video. And yes, yes, y'all, we are having a look at uh at a different perspective here. That's right, we are we are on Miss Hibbly Hart's uh channel. Uh she is doing her own reaction, or at least I think this is a reaction. Uh, I could be wrong. Uh, but apparently she's addressing this whole uh up church and heavy duty country. Uh, situation. That's right. She's got a video here that's titled "Up Church Stepped in Some Heavy Duty Crap." So uh, let's go ahead and find out um, what this video is all about. Let's get Miss Hibbley's heart uh, perspective on this whole situation by liking the hey hey. Go. I don't know if any of you saw this. I tried to support this guy. I tried to support this guy. That makes two of us. I try supporting this dude too because I especially enjoy uh, his political videos. Talking about, of course, HDC. Let's go. I have always been a little deer in the headlights because the first political video I watched of him, I really liked. I liked his viewpoints. I liked his perspective. But then he said, click on the next video. And the next video I saw, he was laying on a bed with a woman on top of him that was almost naked and he was grabbing her ass. So that was very... I didn't see that video, but I'm glad she informed me of that. Okay. Very conflicting for me, and I was like, I don't know about this. I just don't know about this. Then as I've watched him through the months, I, I want to say, okay, I, I like that you're conservative. I like that you live um, a very simple lifestyle. I like that you are pro 2A. I like that you um, know what it is to actually do a, a day's work. At the same time, when he gets upset with people, it's the same recipe for disaster. It's the, uh, he either has to dress down or dress up, depending depending on the occasion. And and then he has to jet his chin out and go, oh. <laughs> and, and then he has to do his suave looks to the camera to get those female viewers back in. And, and, and then he demeans whoever he has a disagreement with. And I... And she is not wrong. I mean, go look at that video that this dude done put out. I really don't like that because we're going to have disagreements. We're not going to meet people in life that we agree with 100% on anything. So we True. have to be able to talk and communicate True. when we're upset with somebody. Mm -hmm. But all he does is try to tear them apart, demean them, and say really nasty things. So I've been on the fence with this guy for many, many months. I wanted to support him because he seems like somebody that if I met... I would not mind like having a conversation with, but at the same time, I don't want to be on his radar as someone he doesn't like because I've seen the way he treats people he doesn't like. And uh, <clears throat> not not to disagree with Miss Hilly Hillbilly Hart, excuse me, but I mean I wouldn't care if I was on HDC's radar or not. You know what I mean? Duke can say whatever he wants about me because, like I said, in, in regards to his video, man. I, I don't agree with how he's handling this whole situation. You know what I'm saying? I mean, like like I said, dude, you're you're on you're on social media. You're putting all this stuff out about social media, and then you're putting out these video clips because and, and you're only putting certain segments of these video clips. You know what I mean? Because you think they they will they'll fit your narrative and whatnot. You know what I'm saying? Like, bruh, let's go. And he's he's very arrogant. Mm-hmm. Mean, mean hearted, mm -hmm. mean spirited. Yep. And and so that has been a, it's been conflicting within me for many many months. And I'm not gonna lie, I've had a, I've had a problem. That's why I don't really talk about this guy a lot, if I have ever to you all, because I've been seeing red flags and behavior, and and the way he kind of ostracizes himself and puts himself in this little island, and everyone else must view him on his island. It it sets it puts a bad taste in my mouth as if he thinks he is above everyone else. Um. So, butter my butt and call me biscuit when I saw this and thought, oh, true colors, you. Um, so what it basically boils down to is um, Brian apparently liked his videos, reached out, spoke to him, which is great. Right? That is true. As a matter of fact, I believe Ryan invited HDC out to his house to go hang out with him, shoot some videos, do an interview. Um, I believe it's still up on HDC's channel. I do remember watching that interview he did with Church at Church's um, house. And I think this was uh, around the time Church was still living in uh, at Ghost Ranch, if I'm not mistaken. But anyway, let's go ahead and get back into this. 
Brian had the time to reach out and talk to you. Got to spend time with him. Uh -huh. He was apparently very accommodating and uh -huh. paid your way on the trip because uh -huh. he invited you. That's where he paid your way. That normally, if you invite somebody along, you pay their way. It's just being a good person. Um, and this guy apparently um, had done some music in his past, and I think he's released a song or two. Not your forte, I might add. Not your forte. Uh -huh. But. Um, Apparently, Ryan was like, well, if you do music and do this, why don't you think about doing this? You could you could do a whole lot with this, this, and this, and, you know, I could help you. And we got all excited, and, you know. Exactly. Just like Justin and everyone else that Ryan has helped out in the past, he saw potential in this dude and tried to help him out. You know what I mean? And this is how old boy is going to repay him? Hmm. And that's great that Ryan met you and got excited about something you may be possibly able to do you might have a skill or a talent set for that's great mm -hmm. but then a few months later when he actually got ready to do what he was supposed to do and he started calling in favors nobody wanted to do it because apparently he had dropped a bunch of money with someone to cut a record but then he couldn't get anybody to help him mm -hmm. cut the record but I thought if you cut the record that why oh you would you mm, you yeah, cut the record. And so it needs to be your creative endeavor. It needs to be your expression, your words, your record. But he's mad at Ryan because Ryan didn't stop, drop everything, and come help him cut his record. Exactly. Church is a busy man. He has his own life. You know, just because he says, oh, yeah, I'm going to help you, that doesn't instantly mean he's going to stop and drop everything for you. That's not how it works. You have to put in the work. I mean, you're over here talking about, oh, about how you're not afraid to get dirty, you're not afraid to get your hands dirty. Well, apparently when it comes to making music, you have a problem putting in, putting in the work in that regard. And you want to say, oh, that it's all church's fault. And then you want to put all this stuff out about church and try to make him out to be something that you have no proof of. Hmm. Again, another creature crawling out of the woodwork. And now he's mad because he spent 4000 I guess, in a management deal with somebody. But he can't get anyone to help him cut the record. I mean, if, if you met Ron, he got you all pumped and excited about something you may have the talent to do. If you made an adult decision to drop money and pursue that, that is your decision. Mm-hmm. Your decision. Exactly. Nobody held a gun to your head and told you to, to drop 4K in cash, you know what I'm saying, into this endeavor that you thought, you know, you, you may want to, you know, partake in. You know what I'm saying? That That is your decision and yours alone to make. Ah, oh, exact. See, this is what I'm saying, dude. This dude, is, this dude must be a huge fan of Gobbleneck because uh, he has some of the char characteristic that Gobbleneck has. You know what I'm saying? Especially not holding himself accountable for what he did. Now, did you pay Holler Boy Records? Then you might have a real beef. Mm -hmm. But if you didn't, then you need to go to whoever you paid and be like, I want to cut this record, but I need more help than I said I did. I was all jazzed. Yep, that, and then if you want your money back, you need to go directly to that person that you paid and ask them for for your money. To pumped and, and made, the, made the decision based on an endorphin rush. I should have calmed down and thought about it for a few days and thought, do I really have all the skills necessary to do this? Because I don't think I do. I think I'm going to need more help. And the terribly famous, busy, in his own world, taking care of his own family friend that I had several months ago is not willing to drop everything and come to me. Mm -hmm. I don't think I can do this on my own. Yep. Another one of these people who think that they are overly entitled. So I'm going to go online and I'm going to, I'm going to demean him and yep. ask for my money back. Yep. Because he talked me into this shit. Well, I've been talking a bunch of crap. Tupperware sales, Avon sales, MLMs out the wazoo, face wraps, you name it, I've been talked into it. Because I don't like to tell people no. I feel sorry for people that have endeavors that I know are going to fail. And then I go, sure, I'll buy this from you. Sure, I'll do this for you. It sucks, doesn't it? Because then it leaves you holding the bag. Because you made an adult decision you have to deal with. Boy, I had to deal with a lot of them too. And uh, you're a grown-ass man with a mind of your own, bro. You didn't have to do what you did, but you did it. You know what I mean? That was your decision to make. You did it. So, 
own what you did and learn from it and move on. But I never went running back and going, I'm going to go on the internet and say wordy dirts about you until you give me my money back for talking me into doing something that I as an adult should have full known well. It was going to be my responsibility. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yep. Facts. I'm sorry, but all I have watched is this man parade on YouTube around saying he's got the biggest power in the galaxy. And he's up. Trying, trying to come in with that with that big dick energy and everything. And um, I highly doubt that that did him any favors. I don't think I have anyone that would drop everything around to help me because I expect my friends to be committed to their own little world and their own little existence. And I should not be priority number one. Facts. Priority number one should be self. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't know what he's really upset about. But then he goes to point on what well, he asked Brian to box, get in an octagon. I'm sorry. It's degrading. This is just degrading. But then he goes on and he starts trying to tear Ryan down. And he starts saying, oh, and the person he just had on his album is a big BLM supporter. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Do you not think all of us don't know that that boozy dude did not say some very questionable things? And do you know what I thought when I listened to that album? I thought... Ryan, Ryan reached out and had a dialogue with someone that eight months ago I would not have thought would have had a dialogue with a country boy. Ryan crossed the line and brought someone over to his team to work with them, to uh -huh. build a rapport with them. Uh -huh. Someone that I never thought I would see on <clears throat> a country or country rap, I hate that word, album. And she, yep, that's exactly what happened. Dude reached out, and and like I said in my reaction to HDC's um, video. Now again, I'm just spitballing. I'm speculating. Okay, I don't know. I'm not that close to church, I, and then obviously I'm not close to Boosie because you know up until church mentioned Boosie, I didn't know who the dude was. You know what I'm saying? All I know is that Boosie is, you know, one of church's favorite rappers out there, if not his absolute favorite rapper. You know, so I'm sure, yeah, he reached out to dude and told dude, hey, look, man, I'm sure they had some kind of conversation. They must have had some kind of discussion. I mean, that's only obvious. I mean, how else would, would Boosie appear on the album? You know what I'm saying? Uh, and then I'm sure there was there there's some agreement made, you know, hence why dude ended up on the track on this remix. And I'm sure they, they reached some sort of understanding. Like, hey, look, man, I'm not doing anything political. You know what I mean? I'm not I'm not really big into politics or anything like that. You know what I mean? I understand, hey, everyone has their own views. Everyone has their own opinions. I can respect that. All, um, all I want is for us to be on a track together. And I would love nothing more than to do a remix with you. You know what I mean? I'm sure that's, that maybe that's what it is. Again, I'm just speculating. I'm just spitballing. You know what I mean? What the hell do I know at the end of the day, right? You know what I'm saying? And yes, Bootsy did say some questionable shit in regards to, you know, BLM and all this other stuff. Now, look, I don't agree with with uh, Bootsy's political views. Is that going to change how I see him as an artist? No, absolutely not. Do I still think the man is a, is a talented artist? Absolutely. 100%. You know what I mean? Obviously, he is well known in certain other parts of the country. You know what I'm saying? And he didn't get there, you know what I mean, by not being good at what he does. No, total opposite. Obviously, he's good at what he does and became popular and became very successful. You know what I mean? More power to him. Like I said, man, we all have our own views and opinions at the end of the day, man. It doesn't matter if we agree or disagree. You know what I'm saying? We, we, can, we can disagree all we want and still be cool with each other. You can disagree with me all you want, and I'm still going to wish you well. I'm still going to love you. I'm still going to you know respect you. So as long as you love and respect me in return. You know what I'm saying? Bruh, let's go. I thought it was a pretty big deal. Because if we can start to communicate, we can start to resolve lots of things. Oh, no. Oh, no. But this young man would rather not communicate and... and would rather you have hostile emotions and feelings toward everyone and sit on those hostile emotional feelings and hate everybody. Because that benefits the world in so many ways. I get so tired of people that are given these platforms and they do absolute shite with them. Like, I mean, you're... I agree. I agree. There's far too many people on this platform 
do all kinds of fucking stupid shit, right? And then, um, and yet they're the ones who got, you know, the uh, bigger following, you know what I mean? They got, they, they, they got success, and again, more power to those people, you know what I mean, for finding their, their success and everything, but it, it, it fucking pisses me off, because here I am, trying to make it on this platform, you know what I mean, and I'm doing my best on here, you know what I mean, and I'm showing love, I'm showing, you know, you know, um, respect, and I'm doing my best to be transparent with y'all, you know what I'm saying, and, you know, wear my heart on my sleeve, and just, you know, basically express myself on here, and yet I have a hard time making it on here, now, maybe, I don't know, maybe that's on me, you know what I'm saying, maybe I'm not doing a good enough job in pushing my stuff out to everybody, you know what I'm saying, but hey, I can only do so much, you know what I'm saying? But it, but again, that's all on me though. I'm not I'm not blaming nobody for me being where I am, you know what I'm saying? I know eventually I'm gonna be where I wanna be, you know what I'm saying, in life and you know, and it's on me to grab that success. You know what I mean? I get all that, you know, and but I'm just saying, man, it it's it's it, it's frustrating because it's and it's not just me, but then there's other people out here out on this platform that 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 I see there are nothing but but chill people you know what I mean they got the chill vibes going you know what I mean nice people respectful people you know what I mean try to do the right thing try to be the best uh, version of themselves that they could possibly be you know what I mean and by doing what's right doing uh, doing what's 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 good and everything and yet those are the ones that get suppressed those are the ones that get oppressed suppressed repressed you know what I'm saying all kinds of pressed you know what I'm saying and Meanwhile, you got other people who are far more successful, and yet they're still crying and complaining because they feel like they're being oppressed or whatever. It's fucking stupid. And then you got people like 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 this guy right here, you know what I mean, who could be making a far more important video, a far better video than the video he put out against church. It's freaking stupid. And you got, you know what I mean, just another freaking gobbleneck. You know what I mean? Speaking of gobbleneck, gobbleneck's another, you know, prime example of someone who could be doing far better things with their time, could be making far better videos, far more important videos, but no, he wants to waste his time, you know what I mean, trying to bring church down and everything, and it's, rather than paying attention to the alleged corruption that's going on in his whole hometown, you know what I'm saying, bruh, people need to, people need to fucking find better things to do with their time, and, and freaking, you know, Enjoy the uh, success that you have and appreciate the success that you have because it'd be a lot harder for some of us to try to grab that little bit of success. I'm just saying. You're making good videos. People are watching you. People are watching you. Women think you're pretty. Mm-hmm. They're going to come back and watch your videos. Exactly. You got all these things going for you. You know what I mean? You, you're good looking dude. You know what I'm saying? And no, I it, I am. I, I don't. I'm not a player for the other team. You know what I mean? I'm just a dude and I can recognize a, a dude who happens to be handsome, you know what I'm saying, and, and it probably has no problem getting women, you know what I'm saying, it is what it is at the end of the day, not only that, but you're, you're, you have this, this, uh, you know what I mean, you're, you're a very smart, very clever, very intelligent dude, you know what I mean, who is obviously very aware as to what's really going on in, in the country and in, and in the world, you know what I mean, very informative and everything, you put up very informative videos and everything, and you're very passionate about you know, the stuff that you're talking about. I can see it and I can feel it, you know what I mean, when I watch your videos. And all of a sudden you put out this crap and it's like, boss man, this ain't the way. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, let's go. Because, you know, most people are rapid that way. But what I'm concerned about is that you have the ability to mold young minds. Mm -hmm. And you just got on the internet and told everybody that as an adult, you can't sit down, think something through, and make a conscious adult decision that you can stand by, and then suffer the repercussions if you can't hack it. Uh -huh. You're going to blame it on someone else. Uh -huh. You're going to make it somebody else's problem. Gee, isn't that just like the ideologies you've been berating for the last two and a half years? Thank you. Thank you. This dude is a walking, talking contradiction. He talks about other people. Oh, and other people want stuff handed to them. You know what I'm saying? He wants to go and, and trash on them. Now, when he's in a position to where, to where, oh, he's trying to get his foot in somewhere, you know what I mean? And, but feels like, oh, people, you know, need to fucking drop everything for him and everything because, oh, he feels like he's owed something. He's entitled to something, you know what I mean? Oh, it's not a problem when, 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 when he's in that seat. Hypocrisy at its finest. One hell of a drug, I'm telling you. Or don't 
those tactics used by those that you find uncouth and unbecoming to society? Mm-hmm. And this is why I encourage people to not hate anybody because eventually you become what you hate. When you hate something so strongly, so passionately, you become what you hate. And that's exactly what's happened to HDC here. He's becoming what he hates. But it's okay for you to exhibit those behaviors. Mm -hmm. It's okay for you to go and try to break down anyone. Mm -hmm. Anyone. Mm -hmm. Or anything, basically. And just, just wait. Let me go back five, six, seven, eight years. I'll find the dirt. I'll find the dirt. I'm going to tell you the dirt. Listen, we all don't climb up somebody's butt when an opportunity arises to have a conversation, to create a dialogue, to create a working rapport, to maybe start to break, break the societal balance that have held us for so long. And I'm sorry that you find it so taxing and unbecoming that two people from two separate worlds could come together and work on an album together. And I'm also sorry that you find adulthood so demeaning that you think everyone should give you back everything. Exactly. Two different people, right, who look nothing alike, right, who come from two different backgrounds, you know what I mean? Oh yeah, let's let let's let's paint this evil dark picture of a beautiful situation, right? That came out of two grown ass men who had a conversation, and therefore got this remix. You know what I mean? To to exist. You know what I mean? Yeah, let's 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 shit all over that, and let's try to paint a a dark picture of both these people. You know what I mean? Let's punish them for you know trying to mend fences, trying to mend bridges. You know what I'm saying, bruh. Right, let's go. Every penny that you've spent that you didn't think really went your way, buddy, I'd have a bank account if that were so. But this is not the way to handle this. Mm-mm. At all. Mm-mm. We have two young men that can be really, really, really prominent leaders in our little political area and our little genre of living. You you wanna you wanna shit on church for you know, making fun of a junkie or whatever, crack, cracking on a, on a junkie and, and whatnot, but yet you're, you're putting yourself in that same group with said junkie by putting out a stupid video on a public platform making a making an ass out of yourself. But they're too busy measuring their dicks to do anything productive. Exactly. That's all that video was. It was a dick measuring contest. Because then he even called out Church 2 for a fight. An MMA style fight. You know what I mean? Talking about, yo, go find a gym that has an octagon in it. Sign a waiver and let's have an MMA fight. I'm like, dude, you did exactly what, what this junkie that you made fun of did. You called out Church to a fight and everything. It's like, dude, fight you for what? Because you made a stupid decision with your money? stupid the internet can be such a positive thing mm -hmm. not wrong and, and as far as saying things in the past I see things in their past that I don't like well I clicked on one of your uh, try this video next and you were laying on your back in a bed with a half naked woman on you grabbing her butt so uh and you want to act like you're you're above you know what I mean? Having your past dug into and everything, dude. You want to walk? You want to act like your shit don't stink and everything? Like, 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 like you perfect and whatnot, bruh, bruh. Yo, shout out to Miss Hillbilly Heart, man, for making this video. Real talk, man, bruh. Let's go. And, and as far as saying things in the past, I see things in their past that I don't like. Well, I clicked on one of your uh, try this video next, and you were laying on your back in a bed with a half naked woman on you grabbing her butt. So, I'm just saying, we've all apparently made mistakes. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Just like I said in my, my reaction video for HDC's video, man. We're, we're all flawed human beings at the end of the day. And not just in that video. I said this in past videos. We're all flawed human beings at the end of the day. Nobody's perfect. Ain't nobody more perfect than the man upstairs. We've all said some dumb shit. We've all done some dumb shit. You know what I'm saying? So, at the end of the day, who are we to be passing judgment onto each other? Like the good book says, you know what I mean? Thou shalt not pass judgment unto others. If thou shalt pass judgment unto others, then judgment shall be pass, pass unto thee. Meaning, don't judge unless you yourself are prepared to be judged. The half-naked woman on you grabbing her butt. 
So I'm just saying, we've all apparently made mistakes. But this, this is a huge red flag for me. This is a huge red flag of where do I want to put my time? Because while Ryan obviously told you, hey, you're not going to talk to me like that, and if you can't have a, a decent conversation, then you can either apologize or just not talk to me. That's called a boundary. That's healthy. But for you to then go all mean girls. Okay, so yeah, see, I knew I knew there was something missing in that video clip. You know what I'm saying? Because he only shows certain parts of the, of, the, of the clip where Church was talking. Church said, oh, I'm not talking to you until I get a, a, an apology. Hillbilly Hart just said right now, oh, Church basically told you, hey, hey, you, you can either apologize or... We could just go our, our separate ways, you know what I'm saying? Which makes sense, too, because it went along with the other part that this fool showed where Church said, you know, do what you feel is right. You know what I'm saying? Bruh, let's go. And dress up and drama, 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 flames, 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 sunglasses. <laughs> it's getting a bit old. It's getting a bit repetitive. It's getting a bit robotic. Mm -hmm. And now I understand what was bothering me about you. It is that you take the same attack against anyone who is microscopically different than you. Uh -huh. That is not what I'm going for as I'm trying to establish a, a more conservative group uh, of people around me. I, I, yes, I want people that think and I want people that that get, like don't always approve of certain behaviors that I see liberals on the left take but I also don't want to be part of a group that has such a hate complex that when someone is different or someone tries to breach a gap and build a dialogue that the first thing that you want to do is go like hate monger dig up the past for 12 years those are tactics amen I totally agree with her wholeheartedly on this you know what I mean and that's what and that's what I hope to accomplish with my channel you know what I mean I try to I try to be I'm trying to be that dude, you know what I mean, that's in that same boat. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, man, it's okay to be different. It's okay to disagree. You know what I'm saying? Just because, you know, we're, we're, we we differ from each other, we disagree at times, that doesn't mean we have to hate each other. No, it's okay to be different. You know what I'm saying? I can respect you for being different if you can respect me for being different. I can love and appreciate you for, for being different. If you can love and appreciate for me for being different. You know what I'm saying? Like I've said too, you know, there's already enough negativity in not in just our country, but in this world as is. I just don't understand why some people have this need in wanting to contribute to that. You know what I mean? Hatred is not going to get you very far in life. If anything, it's going to cause your, your, your channel and everything you got going for you to just yeah. <laughs> fucking bomb look what it did for Judd I'm just saying and I don't give a damn to be part of a group that has such a hate complex that when someone is different or someone tries to breach a gap and build a dialogue that the first thing that you want to do is go like hate monger uh -huh dig up the past for 12 years those are tactics of the left and I don't like to thank you thank you and I've met people from personal experience who did the same thing with me you know what I'm saying and there's an artist that does things that I've called out that that the left usually does how are we going to call out the left for being a bunch of snowflakes and all these other things, you know what I mean? And being a bunch of hate mongering people when you're doing the exact same thing they are. And then when someone like me, like Miss Hillbilly Hart here, are brave enough to call you out on that, oh, now all of a sudden we're the enemy? You're gonna you're gonna toss your hatred our way? I don't think so. I don't think so. Like I said, hypocrisy, ladies and gentlemen, it's a hell of a drug. A lot of people need to go to AA, you know what I mean, and uh, help wean themselves off that hip hypocrisy drug. I'm just saying. To see them brought into a conservative space. And I thought that's what this was. But I'm not sure anymore. 
And that concerns me even more. And I don't blame her for feeling this way at all. You know what I mean? If anything, I'm in total agreement with her. Let's go. Because now I'm wondering if I even have gotten to know this man at all, all the months that I've watched him, because when he's mad, his behavior seems to be a little different. It's a little lefty-leaning, if you know what I mean. Than when he thinks he's on the winning team. Mm Mm-hmm. That's a red flag. Mm Mm-hmm. Facts. I'm concerned that as a grown adult, you would say that any decision you have made as a grown adult is somebody else's responsibility. Mm -hmm. I don't care if a snake oil salesman sold you baby oil and you paid 10 grand for it. If you made the error in judgment to do that because you had a belief in yourself on that day that apparently didn't come to fruition later, it's your problem. It's not anybody else's. Exactly. And, and as much as I do not like the things that you posted about this boozy dude, one thing I really did like is that Ryan said, hey, you know something? When it comes to musicality and it, and it comes to um, putting my money where my mouth is, I'm going to show that I can love any individual and I can, I can bring any music individual into my record and, and appropriately work with them as an adult, as an adult and an artist. So, yeah, I know I, I'm, I'm not some... In other words, church is mad enough to put differences aside and to create something great. You know what I mean? Something beautiful. You know what I mean? With any and all artists that he wants to have on his records. You know what I'm saying? And you, you can say whatever you want about the man, but he has the right to do whatever he wants with his records. Let's go. Mother that was like, he's going to champion Boozy. No, not at all. But I am very impressed that Ryan would say, hey, bud, let's talk. Let's see if we can find a common ground where we can have a work relationship and make. Exactly. And that's the kind of person, you know what I mean, that I like to be around. You know what I mean? People who can understand like, yeah, hey, look, man, we can have a conversation. You know what I'm saying? And we can try to find some common ground on some things. We may not agree on everything, but hey, we but. You know, be willing to find common grounds in areas where, where we disagree. You know what I mean? Agree to disagree. You know what I mean? I like being around civilized folks like that. You know what I'm saying? Bruh, let's go. music. Does it mean that Ron buys into everything about Boozy? Absolutely not. Does it mean that Ron is standing up for everything Boozy has said, done, thought? No, that's not physically possible. Mm-hmm. So... While you're trying to bring the accountability on Ryan, and you're trying to make people feel sorry for you, mm-hmm. and you're trying to say that you were taken advantage of, what it boils down to is you got to rub elbows with someone that has got a hellaciously um, appealing sense of excitement when it comes to mu- music in the music industry, where he thinks people that really feel a belief in themselves that they want to do music, they can do this. You got to rub elbows with someone that made you believe in yourself so much that you went out and bought a music deal. And then when you landed back in orbit and realized, mmm, yeah, I should have brought up my, my, my concerns earlier. I don't think I can do that. And by the way, you put you making it public that you just got screwed. You know what I'm saying? That deal... I mean, you, you just prove to the world just how smart you are. <laughs> and you still want to try to carry yourself like, like you're this arrogant guy, this brilliant guy. You know what I'm saying? That's like, you know, again, can, can do no wrong. His, his shit don't stink or whatever. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> whatever, dude. But at least now it's public record that, that you, you got screwed in that deal. You know what I'm saying? And you did it to yourself. So, I mean. Not a good look, Chief. Not a good look at all. You should have said, hey, you know something? I did not make a good adult decision. I did not think that one through. I did not take the appropriate time. I jumped in on the endorphin ride, which we all know Ryan is a huge adrenaline junkie. He, he will he will absolutely talk and get you amped up and get you excited. That's why we love him. Mm-hmm. He makes us feel like there's options and choices and possibilities in the world. Yep. And when you landed back in Texas and had to stare at yourself and realize, I probably can't do this, Instead of holding yourself accountable, you want to blame it on everyone else. And then you went to trash everyone else. Then you wanted to dig up years and years and years and years and years of dirt. And, and exactly. You want to you want to name call people, right? You want to trash on on their talent, right? And then you want to dig up their past. 
Congratulations, my guy. You just proven you are no better than the left. If anything, you're just as bad as they are. You may as well be one of them. Sayings and, and just random crap that no, not everybody's going to know. We all don't do FBI deep dives on people. I'm sorry, it's not plausible. It's not possible. And I have to say that while you want to demean Ron, I am very proud that he always tries to bring someone out of his comfort area, you know, and, and out of his, you know, circle in to work with. Mm -hmm. I like that about him. Do I like always who he brings in? No. Am I going to champion it and brag on Boozy? Absolutely not. But Same here. You know what I mean? Because I didn't like some of the things I heard uh Boosie said, you know what I mean? Therefore, I'm not going to agree with it. You know what I mean? Whether Boosie meant a lot of what he said or not, doesn't matter. I don't agree with it, you know? And um, you can try to make Boosie out be, you know... <clears throat> How can I say this? You can try to make uh, Boosie be, be out to be some kind of creepo or whatever, but unless you have actual proof, dude... Just, just, just keep your mouth shut, dude. Stop, stop accusing people of being something that you have no absolute proof of. You know what I'm saying? Because you don't actually have, you know. Again, you you need actual proof. Just because people people talk shit all the time. You know what I'm saying? Do I believe Boosie did what he did with his kids? No, I don't. And plus, just because he said those things, that doesn't mean that he actually did those things. You know what I mean? I didn't get full context of what he said there. I, I'm because now I have to question: What did he say that led up to that? And then what did he say after that? You know what I mean? Was it because for all I know, he could he could have said what he said about his kids and grown women. You know what I mean? Out of sarcasm, for all I know. You know what I'm saying? Again, dude, you're doing all, all these things that, that you call the left out for. You know what I mean? The tactics that they utilize that you call them out for. These are all the very same things you are doing, which makes you, by legal definition, a hypocrite. But I like that he creates communication and dialogue and puts his money where his mouth is. And he actually does work with people. He has started so many careers. He has helped so many people. Yep. And I'm sorry it didn't work out for you. I'm sorry that this one endeavor... The man brought you into his home. He invited you over to his house, brought you into his his, his center, his, his place that he calls home. Brought you in and took care of you. Showed you some of that southern hospitality. And you're going to go and do him like this because of your dumbass? Not a good look. I mean, all this other shit has gone really well for you, by the way, you know? <laughs> Focused on the negatives, aren't you, though, bud? All this other crap has gone really well for you, and you're you're so hyper-fixed on the negative. Mm-hmm. Why? And I've noticed you do that a lot, and it really brings down the momentum of your videos. Mm -hmm. It really cripples the momentum of your message, and it really makes people like me concerned as if I even need to be spending my time on you. Ryan has real issues sometimes. He has real issues with real people. Uh -huh. I mean, what we saw out of that gobble guy was a horrible, uh -huh. atrocious. Uh -huh. There are people in the world that bless their hearts cannot communicate effectively. And now I think I may have found another, and it concerns me. Yep. Because Sarah, as an adult, as a grown-ass woman, as somebody that has put some money in places I shouldn't have because my belief in myself has been a bit much on certain days. You made a bad adult decision. Uh -huh. And she's not wrong. She is spitting nothing but straight facts. You know what I'm saying? Let's go. Any endeavor you take that is yours, you should not blame on other people. Exactly. You should, you should not choose to do anything in life that's going to rely on the aid of another. Businesses, business deals and ventures that you are responsible for, you need to make sure that you can handle Mm -hmm. You shouldn't put your money there. Mm -hmm. And I'm sorry if you feel duped, but it's just part of growing up and learning how the world works. Yep. And I can understand if you brought this tone to Ryan on the phone while he doesn't want to speak with you. But he gave you the freedom to do what you needed to do, bro. Mm -hmm. He didn't come on here and kind of bash you and, and turn you ten ways to Sunday and bait you into a boxing ring. I don't get, I don't get the physical crap, guys. It's so stupid. 
it is stupid and and but i mean it, it's it's funny too like just how quickly he jumped into that you know what i mean you had an opportunity to work things out with dude you had him on the phone you guys could have hashed it out right then and there and you didn't and like she said church hasn't put out any videos or anything that said it you know what i mean said anything negative about you but yet here you are you know what i mean trying to trash on the man you know what i mean and all that man has ever done to you was shown you love uh, uh. this is why i don't blame church you know what i mean at times when he gets angry and frustrated and and, and be like yeah i don't have a heart i don't know if i can you know help people anymore because a lot of times when i do they tend to bite bite my hand. They tend to stab me in the back. They they betray me, and I don't understand why. I don't blame him for feeling that way. I get it. As someone who's been betrayed countless times, I feel him. You know what I mean? I get him. I understand. Because I be feeling like that, too, with all the shit that I've been through in my life. I've, I've been there. I've had that feeling, too. Like, yeah, I don't know if I have any mean to help out any more people. You know what I'm saying? Because how, how do I know if, if I'm going to get burned again or not? I don't know that. And there comes a point where you're just, you're, 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 you're done. You're, and you're, you're tired of trying to go out of your way and help out somebody. Because, again, you're, you're not sure if those people are going to turn around and burn you or not. Let's go. He gave you the ability to express yourself. Yep. I did so, however ineffectively I might have found it. I just want to let you know that you're at a place in your career where you're starting to lose context. You're starting to lose perspective. Uh -huh. You're starting to forget that not everything you say is golden. Not every belief you have is the belief. And not every way of thinking should, has to be yours. You're starting to think, you're starting to get a little bit arrogant and, and a little bit self-centered. And I've noticed that just as a random person in the world that watches. Yep. And I'm very concerned because I think you may have crippled your entire platform right now. Mm -hmm. And I just want to say that I expect more grown men, especially grown men that put themselves in positions of leadership over people in their area or people in their demographic. Mm -hmm. So, you know, just think about these things. Think about these things because nothing you said down here in this video, which I'm not even going to give any more time to. I'm not even going to play it. It's just stupid. If you want to watch it, go watch it. You'll end up laughing like I did. Am I thrilled about Ryan's cho choice to be on his record? No. Am I a fan of the man? No. But was it my decision? No. And while I have to look at it, I have to say kudos to the boy for reaching out and bringing some diversity, putting his money where his mouth is, and working with people. And, and doing what he says he does. Takes people on an individual basis. Exactly, and that's why I, I will always be Creek Squad, you know what I'm saying? I will always be a church fan, you know what I'm saying? Because Brian is one of those dudes that talks what he walks, you know what I'm saying? Bruh, bruh, his numbers, his status, not relevant. I don't care about that. All I care about is the things that, that Ryan says, the things that he talks about. Does he Is he really about the things he talks about? And the man has proven time and time and time and time again that he is about the things that he talks about. He walks what he talks. And that's why I will always have love for church and I will always have that respect for church. You know what I'm saying? The guy has been nothing but kind to me. Like I said, a year ago from, yeah, roughly about around a year ago from now, he subscribed to my channel. Fast forward to this year. He dropped a comment on one of my videos he's been and he didn't have to do all that for me but he did and I'm very appreciative very thankful for him to take time out of his life that he didn't have to give to me you know what I'm saying I'm, I'm very thankful for that so church if you're watching this video brother all the love bro all the respect in the world for you you know what I'm saying and don't worry man I still got your back bro you know what I mean that'll never change bro let's go do I have way more questions about Boozy now? Yeah. But like I said, I don't do an FBI deep dive on people that I don't particularly care for. So thank you for bringing that to our attention. 
But at the same time, if I were to probably go and take apart some of the people that you have spent your life with, I would probably find similar issues. So I just think this was all not necessary. I think it's all meant for drama. It's probably meant for clicks. It's probably meant to just try to drag Ron, um, who's in a very good place mentally, emotionally, physically right now. I just, I don't think he really cares. But I have to say that for me, now I understand the red flags I have felt as a viewer of this channel for a long time now. And I can't say I don't agree with her. I absolutely agree with her on that. You know what I mean? I feel her 100%. Let's go. And being a retired parole officer, a retired counselor, you know, when I have a gut feeling about something, I normally sit back and wait. And I've sat back and wait, waited. I've watched. And I'm seeing repeated behaviors that concern me. Repeated arrogance that concerns me. Repeated the, the digs, the nastiness. They're resorting to drama, talking about their clothes. I mean, you just, you just take it to so many unnecessary places. Exactly. Talking about how church dresses and everything, and then bringing up like how um about how 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 he was in love with uh, with Nicole Arbor and everything and everything that he wanted to do something nice for her. You know what I mean? And and you want to call him a simp for that? Like, dude, please. That 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 was that's freaking ridiculous, dude. If you're gonna have an adult issue with someone, have an adult issue. And stop trying to get them in a boxing ring. Stop trying to talk about their clothes. Stop mm -hmm. with these little stupid mean girl digs. Exactly! Exactly. She nailed it right on the head there. All that shit you're doing, talking about how someone looks, how someone dresses, how, you know, someone who, 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 uh, who cares about other people, how he treats other people and everything. That is all high school fucking mean girl shit right there, dude. That's what, exactly what that is, man. That is some high school mean girl shit right there. Yo. Hey, Billy Queen, let's go. Have an issue. Talk about it. Yeah. And stop with this <laughs> drama. Mm hmm Because it's rather irritating. Mm-hmm. And it don't make you look any more like a man. If anything, it makes you look like a girl. And y'all, make your own minds up about stuff. I have to weigh out the positive and the negative. And no, I'm probably not going to listen to the boozy songs very much on Ryan's record. I'm not. Because I enjoy Ryan's voice and Ryan's lyrics. I don't enjoy other people's lyrics. So that's why I listen to... To what she is totally entitled to do. She, she has every right to listen to whoever she likes to listen to. And if there's certain people she doesn't want to listen to, well, then she doesn't have to listen to them. She has that right. Let's go. Ryan's music. Am I going to agree with everything the boy does? No. Am I going to like all his business decisions? No. That's why it has that pronoun his in front of that his business decisions. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I'm sorry, but I think that perhaps you need to sit down and look at your world and your belief in yourself and, and make sure that you put a plan in action for the next time somebody really makes you excited about a possible venture in life. Because if you get mad at the people that hype you up and make you think things are possible, you're going to be in a very sad, sad spot. Mm -hmm. People that are not inspirational. You're, you're going to be known as one of those misery loves company type of person. You know what I mean? And that's not the kind of person you want to be known as. Trust me. And I don't know what, what, what would be worse. But I, I would think it would be being void of having friends that had a, a belief strong enough for me to think that I could conquer anything I set my mind to. Obviously, you've made your mind up that you can't conquer this. And you want your money back and you want to create an issue about it. Good luck, Bubba. But just as someone that watches videos and, and tries to understand and compost what I'm seeing, body language, word choice, behavior, mode, mode of uh, channeling, you know, your emotions, I'm concerned. That's all I'm going to say. All right, y'all. So that was uh, Miss Hibbilly Queen with uh up church stepped into stepped in some heavy duty crap and uh yeah definitely gonna give this video a like you know what i'm saying and uh yo 
Let's, let's show Miss Hibbley Hart some some love. Right now, she's currently sitting at 1.66k subs. Uh, I think she deserves way more. Um, yeah, I've been, I've been watching uh, some of her streams and some of her videos as of late. And yeah, I really, really, really love this video. Really appreciate this video that, that she put out, you know, in regards to this whole situation and everything, you know. Yeah. HDC, bro. I don't know, man. I mean, at the end of the day, it's your channel. But if I can make a suggestion, I would suggest, you know, pulling that video because I don't think that that's that's the kind of vibe you want to you want to send, you know, to uh, <clears throat> to to your audience. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, you're a grown ass man. What you do with your channel is your business. You want to keep that video up? Hey, that's your decision. You have that right to make that decision. You know what I'm saying? But um, understand though, when you put stuff out there, man. <laughs> you know what I mean? I hope you are prepared for the consequences. You know what I mean? Because you know, it is what it is at the end of the day. And I'm just gonna leave it with that. Um, yeah, and I'm pretty much done with this whole situation. Like I said, I'm still a church fan. I'm still a Creek Squad. You know what I'm saying? Through and through. You know. I think it's messed up that um, you know that church gets penalized whenever he tries to go out of his way and help people out. I think that is unfair. You know what I mean? And um, nobody, nobody for that matter, should be have to be penalized for helping people out. You know, but at the end of the day, it is what it is. You know, God bless church. You know what I mean? For always trying to do the right thing, for always doing what he believes in in his heart of hearts, what is right. You know what I'm saying? God bless Miss Hillbilly Hart. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, yeah. So I'm with this video 100%. If you guys are too, you want to watch and listen to this on your own free time, uninterrupted, which I highly encourage y'all to do if you haven't done so already. Or even if you have seen it, hey, go watch it again. You know what I mean? Because I thought uh, Miss Miss Hillbilly Hart here made a lot of great points. A lot. She, she, she said a lot of facts, a lot of truths. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. <clears throat> So yeah, again, you guys are more than welcome to go hit up that link and subscribe to Miss Hillbilly Heart if you haven't done so already. Again, let's, let's, let's show her that love. Let's help get her, get her numbers up. You know what I'm saying? And uh, yeah. And if you guys are with this reaction, you know what to do with that thumbs up down below. You know what to do with that comment section down below. And uh, don't forget, guys, underneath the uh, video link, we also have the link for the second channel. If you're into video games, wrestling, movies, and other cool geek stuff, then that's the link for y'all to go click on. Um... Underneath that, we have uh, reaction request instructions. More than welcome to send a reaction request your, uh, over to your boy here, and it could be a free request. I, res I respond to free requests just as quickly and just as swiftly as I possibly can. So yeah, absolutely no pressure. It is all the way gravy train. Underneath the instructions, we also have, of course, two store links, Spring Merch Store, Cool Hawaii CBD, both of which will have their own discount slash coupon codes. So uh, yeah, and also don't forget, can't support the channel financially. Hey, no worries. All good. No hard feels. All I ask is that please make sure you are subscribed to the channel if you're digging what I'm doing over here. Excuse me. And uh, please make sure that you have your bell notification set to all so, you, so you'll never miss an upload. Doesn't cost a single red cent, but still a big help nonetheless. You feel me? And of course, I also goes to all the folks that I rock with in the folks that I rock with section. Let's show the fan bam some love while we're at it. That will be greatly appreciated. think I nailed everything. So with all that being said, it is your boy, Jason JV. So y'all take care. Have a blessed one. Catch y'all in the next one. Peace.